Hello loves, welcome back to the Put Yourself First podcast. Today is another episode in our series on mindset and manifestation basics so that we can cover all of the juicy details and you feel like a complete badass expert for your own mind and manifesting your dream life. So Today's episode is how to start manifesting your dream life and miracles and all of the things that you want today. How to get started with manifesting. This episode is for you if you are complete, a complete newbie to manifestation, if you're curious about it, but you see a lot of confusing information online and you're not really sure what's going on, like what it's all about. Or if you are dipping your toe into manifestation, maybe you already are spiritually curious, maybe you're already practicing manifestation, but you're still not quite sure like what is actually happening under the surface. Um, And I think with knowledge comes power, with awareness comes power. And often it's, I'm going to get onto this in a second, often with manifestation, it's bringing what is unconsciously happening already into your conscious awareness so that you're not just doing something and like hoping for the best, you're actually fully aware of what's happening. And my program Next Level You guides you through this on a 10-week journey. So if you love manifestation, please listen out keep your eyes peeled, your ears pricked up (laughs) on a podcast sense for the doors opening to next level you. We'll be doing another free um, manifestation challenge at the end of March and then the doors will open in April. So if you're like already keen to sign up, I would say DM me on Instagram because I can sort you out with a early bird offer we can sort you out with some like bonus goodies if you want to sign up and get your name on the list for the next one already you know get your payments set up and all that good stuff we'll get some goodies thrown in for you as a bonus so that's next level you um but that brings me on to today for all of us here on the podcast manifestation 101 what is actually happening when we are manifesting so first of all my definition of manifestation is really taking something that is on an energetic level and bringing it into matter a physical representation of that thing so taking energy and making it into matter as in non-physical energy into physical matter and the reason this is so important to remember is the very basis of manifestation is in quantum physics where they say that they say it is known it is studied that An atom contains more energy than it does matter. So an atom, a little molecule, is like 99.99999% energy. And the matter aspect, if you've ever seen like a cartoon structure of an atom, you may want to Google it if you're like on a walk right now or you can. I'll do it later. The the elements of the atom that we see, like the nuclear, the the nucleus, the nucleus, <laughs> the nucleus, and all of that stuff, is the physical matter. All of the other stuff in between is energy. So, the whole universe is made up of atoms, and so essentially, we are more energy than we are matter. And everything around us, from the microphone I'm speaking into right now, the table my laptop is rested on, my 
heart beat in my you know flow in my blood around my body all of these things are made up of mostly energy and so manifestation is bringing energy into matter in the physical world and whether you want to think of that as like a dream that you have or an idea that you have you know it's first a thought it's first energy but then that energy and focusing on that energy creates the momentum and creates the like the frequency the vibrational frequency of those atoms of that energy as it comes into physical form so stick with me here because I didn't mean to go all like quantum physics on you at the beginning of the episode because what I want you to focus on if you just want to understand manifestation as a simple concept is you're taking something that you can't see (laughs) and making it into something that you can see so you have an idea of a dream job that you have you can't see that thing it's an idea it's a thought in your head it's a dream that you have it's a desire in your heart and you are you are co-creating that in your reality with the universe that is manifestation and what most people think of as manifestation is this like switch that you it's like turn on manifestation mode like right I'm going to go manifest now I'm going to go manifest my career now and they think that it's this thing that you switch on and you do and it's an action and it's this thing that you're either actively doing or it's not happening and that just is not the case because we are all made up of energy and this is constant vibration of energy you know if you look at atoms under a microscope there's this vibration of life force energy happening we are constantly manifesting because we are constantly being a match for the energy that we are putting out into the world we are constantly creating or you know co-creating with the universe our experience, our life. We're constantly create creating things in the physical world from our energy system, from a, an idea we have in our head. And a really great, a really great thing to just think about in this example is a thought in your head. Think like everyone right now, as you're listening, as you're watching, think about something that makes you so happy in the world. Like maybe I'm thinking of my dog right now, my puppy. Maybe it's your baby. Maybe it's like your dream holiday, your favorite food, whatever it is. Just think about something that makes you so happy right now, like beaming with energy. I bet you're smiling. I bet you're feeling so good thinking about that thing. And that is manifesting physiological changes in your body. That is creating energy. That is creating emotion. It's creating momentum. And no one else did that except you. You quite literally have created a physical response in yourself from nothing, (laughs) from the thought of something so there are obviously so many examples of that as we move throughout our day you can see how the world around you the universe is constantly responding to the energy that you're putting out because imagine if then let's say you were to go on with your day having thought about that thing that makes you feel amazing and you love and you were to go into a meeting at work, your energy is so potent. Your energy leads 
So people respond to your energy. People respond to you in that state of gratitude or joy or calm or whatever it may be. Your body is responding to it. You're going to act differently. Your tone of voice is going to change. Your breathing rate is going to change. People's response to you is going to change. Even when we think about, you know, let's say that day you go into work and you want to create a certain opportunity for yourself. You want a promotion, you want a pay rise, you want to go after that project, whatever it may be. Your energy in that meeting has a direct impact on that thing that you want to manifest. And so people can tell. People are con- like the world around you, other people, other things within your environment are constantly responding to your to the energy that you're putting out there. And we can use this to our advantage when we become aware of the process that that is happening here so for me manifestation is bringing what is unconsciously happening into your conscious awareness and making it a conscious practice so that you know what is happening and you can do certain things to feel more purposeful in what you are creating because you're, the world and the, the universe is constantly responding to you already. But when you understand that you get to be aware of that and you get to choose your own energy, you get to choose and tune into what you want versus what you don't want, the vibration that you want to emit into the world you are essentially taking your power back over your goals, over your life, over the things that you want to receive and experience more of. So that is what is manifestation. You're constantly manifesting. You're constantly a match for something that matches where you are at in terms of your frequency, your energy. And the way I like to remember that energetic side of it is to think about a radio station. When you want something, so you want to manifest your dream soulmate partner, or you want to manifest a pay rise at work, those things, it's like manifestation is tuning a radio because if I'm sat in my car and I'm turning my radio to a certain frequency I'm only going to hear and receive from that radio what is a match to that frequency I'm only going to hear that certain radio station that is on that specific frequency if I'm all the way over here in the in the frequency scale I'm not going to hear anything it's going to be like crackling or I'm going to be like no I don't want this radio station <laughs> I don't want to hear this music I don't like this one and so what we're doing with manifestation tools and the process is we're tuning your frequency to the thing that you want so that you are a match for it And how we do that is ultimately in who you are and how you're showing up. So this brings me on to the next aspect, because if manifestation is this concept of like energy free, you know, the energy you put out is the energy you get back and like all things are more energy than matter. So if we want to physically create something in our reality or co-create it with the universe we need to focus our energy on that thing great like amazing cat this sounds fabulous how do I do that 
how you do that, or I should say how you are already doing that, is through your belief system, is through your like your physical body, your energy, your emotions, your values, your unconscious mind contains an imprint of everything that has ever happened to you and therefore everything you believe about the world down down to like your personality and what you find easy to do, what you don't find easy to do, your greatest desires and your greatest fears, who you are as a person is what you are putting out into the world. So if we want to get back more of something specific, we need to think of how we are showing up as the version of us who already has that thing, who is a natural match for that thing. Remember in that radio, if I want a pay rise, but I'm not putting myself out there in my work, or if I have a belief that I'm like rubbish at what I do, or I've got imposter syndrome, my energy is not matching up with the promotion, with the pay rise. Because if it was, I would be feeling how I was, how I would be feeling when I have the pay rise. I would be believing what I believe when I have the pay rise. I would be taking action steps and showing up in my workplace in a way that made it a no-brainer, obvious thing that I was the person to receive that. That is what we're doing with manifestation. We're embodying, we're stepping into the version of us who already has it. So that is an introduction of how to start manifesting your dream life asking yourself that question who is the version of me who already has it who is the version of me already having received that promotion or that pay rise yes I think it's so amazing for the first step to get clear on what you want right you know the idea the desire the thing in your heart like I said the you know focusing your energy on that is so important But we also then need to think about how are we showing up to that? Because you showing up as the opposite of that, like I said, you know, and and this is what this this is where we get into like blocks and limiting beliefs and energetic blockages and all of this stuff that I every single week help my clients work through. Because if if you have a deep-seated fear of rejection or you are really unkind to yourself, or you never put yourself forward for opportunities at work, you're going to really struggle gaining that momentum to move forward and get what you want and, and manifest it. It's like me changing the radio frequency and then being annoyed that I'm not hearing my favorite one but I've changed the frequency, like I'm not at the right station. And so that is what we're doing with the mindset and manifestation work. That is why the unconscious mind and the nervous system, which essentially, you know, is also your like energetic body, is so freaking important for manifestation. Because yes, we want to get clear on what you want, But we also then need to think about how am I co-creating that with the universe and meeting the universe halfway? So if you are finding this fascinating, please, please, please take away that journal prompt, that question. 
of who is the version of me who already has the thing that I want. And if you are looking for more specific guidance, again, like I said at the beginning, next level year is for you. It's a 10 week group program covering all of this and so much more. I also have a, another episode on my six step manifestation process that will give you even more of a breakdown of this whole process of what I've spoke about today. But really, today I wanted to break down how to start manifesting and how to begin getting to grips with manifesting so that you can begin this process today. So you've got that question. And I wanted to leave you with a little bit of homework or an action step that you can do to just begin being curious and having fun with this because like I said you are already manifesting you're already calling in certain things you're already receiving things you're already a match for things that you are magnetizing in you're attracting in what we can do is begin tuning in to the synchronicities that are happening in your life because you are already a match for something that just seems to always happen for you no matter like you know you don't even need to try like you don't worry about it it just happens I want you to start thinking about that and tuning in and beginning to log those things as they happen so maybe for you it's a certain area of your life where you never have any stress you never have any worry you never have any doubt that that things are going to happen like they just do so maybe you're like I don't know why but I always just manifest um like random little bits of money in abundance like I'll get a random refund that I didn't expect or people always you know offer to pay for your coffee if you're out or whatever other people might be like I never struggle in dating I always have like I always have attention I always have you know I'm always dating I'm always being asked out even like in a random bar on a Saturday, like I'm being approached, I'm being asked out. Maybe for you, it's you always see certain things. Like you will always constantly see a white feather on the ground or 1111, 1111. Or you might have a sign that you look for, like an animal or a a symbol of some sort, mine's a butterfly start noticing the synchronicities, the things that are too consistent and too obvious to ignore because that is your manifestation process in action in your life. Because I can guarantee there's going to be at least one area of your life or at least one thing. Like I said, it could be like my, one of my friend's was saying recently like she's gotten so good at manifesting a certain product she's an influencer she's a content creator and influencer and there's one specific product that she just gets sent all the time and she's not like putting it out there that she wants that she's I I think she has put it out there that she wants that privately like with herself but she's not trying you know she's not she's not doing anything she's not consciously like manifesting but it's like this tap has just turned on and she's always receiving that what is that thing for you is it I always see this or I never struggle in this area I always manifest this start noticing those synchronicities and log them log that evidence because the more evidence you're your logical mind has that manifestation is real and is happening and is a conscious 
um, I should say, unconscious process that you are also in control of, the more empowered you will feel to take steps to manifest more, to be more, even more confident in what is available for you when you show up as this version of yourself. And especially paired with that first question, because again, it's like my example all the way at the beginning with the puppy, thinking about my puppy. If I am conscious of how my energy impacts my results and what I receive, well, the world's my fucking oyster, bitches. Like I can create anything I want because I can then consciously, intentionally create this feeling within myself or create these beliefs or create this mindset so that the world, the universe responds to me. That is powerful AF. And of course, that is why I'm a mindset and manifestation coach because the two go together like peanut butter and jelly. Amazing combo. So I hope you enjoyed the next episode of this series. Like I said, there will be plenty more to come. I think next time we'll be going deeper into energy work. Now I've kind of introduced energy as this concept and why it's so important. We'll go into more working with your energy. So like EFT is going to be coming up. Um, I'll do an episode at some point on Reiki because I'm Reiki trained. That is an amazing tool. There'll be so many other things to come. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this series. I hope you're learning lots. Please reach out on Instagram if you are. And if you are interested in the next round of Next Level You and you want some juicy early bird bonuses, just hit me up, let me know, and we will get you sorted. And I'll speak to you soon.